everyone, welcome back. And I'm here because I need to unbox this as soon as possible so I can get to the damn game. And if you pre-ordered it at a GameStop, you'd get the wooden plaque as well and an arm sleeve that is probably child size. Wait a minute. I mean, uh, arm sleeve that is totally for adults. Look at that. God damn, it's cutting my circulation. All right, let's do this. All right, let's first take a look at the box here. We have the black version background, kind of very similar to what you see on the back of the special edition of the OLED switch. Back there, sides are green, and the back is awesome. Ooh, that Ganondorf thing. So, Ganondorf, Zelda, some Malice stuff, nice. Oh, actually stick it a cut, yay. I get to finally use this. Okay. Thank you, Master Sword. All right, let's see what we have in the inside here. We have two layers. Top layer being the steel book, which I am a huge fan of steel books. Every steel book I can get, I have this in that case back there, but this is awesome. Let's take that out. It is gold. Of course it is, I mean, what a freaking awesome skill, uh, steel book. There's a Tears of the Kingdom there that you'll be collecting. Make sure you see that well with the lighting. In the inside. Man, I, does it come with the map? I wish it came with the map like the old one does. I mean, I'm going to take a look to see if it matches anything like this because this stuff is awesome. It's a new character you'll have guiding you around in the game. You have the game itself. Damn, that's tight. Oh, okay. So there is a push up. Well, there they go. The game itself, which will definitely be running on that in a second. All right. Hopefully not too distracting, but I have the game running back there because I have to. Let's take a look at these pin sets. This was a thing that if you are sensitive to this type of stuff, maybe a minor spoiler since they did only specifically reveal the first one but here are the rest we have four like a bronze golden type of a pin set let me see if i can focus on that but those things look awesome how big are these you know what let me go ahead and start that. all right so i'm setting this to inches and they are roughly yep one inch by one inch pretty thin pretty thin standard pin you know, like 0.1 inches. So you have four one by one inch pins here. Better look at those. Those things are nice. What they mean, I have no idea yet. Hopefully be finding that out starting tonight. And the main reason why I got the collector's edition, the art book. Man, am I a sucker for art books. Steel books and art books. It's actually embossed in the front. You have the same hand symbol you get in the GameStop plaque, which is here. I'm assuming that is the Ultra Hand symbol I've seen online, which pretty much is something you'll use to activate things. The Sheikah Eye. Um, this book was leaked online. It's a really good size. Honestly, uh, they usually don't always give these full-size art books, but let's not spoil too much. Flip through a couple pages here. Really nice book. I mean, this thing has to be, it's numbered. That's how many pages. Yeah, just roughly about 200 pages there. 201 so I would say over 200 pages in this thing and lastly we have the steel poster which by the way on its own this box is amazing what an awesome box there we go already feel the weight of that let's go ahead and close this box all right it's definitely nicer than I thought I mean definitely glossy not embossed Definitely metal. It is pretty much a piece of sheet metal. Then you have the magnetic back, which you can just go ahead and use this uh, kind of command strip style. Stick it to a wall, magnetize that, and then you have your steel poster. Man, that thing's awesome. Let's go ahead and just click on that. Wow, really nice set. You know, I thought this was kind of like the throwaway thing. Um, quite honestly, I mean, I like your regular standard large 
movie poster size posters for game releases, but ah, crap. This thing is pretty amazing for what it is. And the art book by far for me is the number one thing in here, followed by the steel book. And of course the extras like sleeves and little wooden plaques don't hurt. But overall, is it as good as the Breath of the Wild that actually brought the Master Sword statue? You know, I mean, I know it's a little cheaper, but no, I, I can't. That statue is amazing. It's something I never got. I've seen it in person, super regretted it. And um, ever since, I've always told myself whenever there is a collector's edition release for this, I am gunning for it. I actually pre-ordered two and ended up canceling one, um, the one that's coming from Japan, because I ended up getting this at uh, GameStop last minute. They're still out there, and I guess people realize that now. So I'll go ahead and put this all together, wrap it up, tell you what I think. So here we have it. I mean, this is the collector's edition. Uh, honestly, the art book and the steel book was as great as I hoped it would be. The steel poster definitely surprised me. Um, what's the size of this thing? See, we have a uh, eight by eleven and a half. So your standard eight by eleven and a half, a little larger than a sheet of paper. There, definitely better quality. I'm a sucker for maps. I love the original map that came with the Breath of the Wild special edition. I wish this was kind of more of an embossed map rather than the really awesome cover art. Don't get me wrong, amazing art, but prefer the map. The actual pins themselves, I'm sure as I play the game, I know what these symbols actually mean. I'm absolutely love these things. They have weight to it. They definitely feel good. And the um, the extras, I mean, I know that they're not part of the collector's edition, but we'll see the GameStop extras, the wooden plaque really surprised me. I didn't think it was actually going to be a nice, pretty heavy, thick piece of board. I'd rather put this up somewhere rather than that. That's going to go somewhere else. And then again, not part of this, but I have to mention it, the Amiibo itself let me go ahead and click on that. The Amiibo itself is uh, amazing. There's a focus. Look at that. I mean, this definitely has to be one of my top Amiibos for a Link Amiibo. Um, again, if this was something you were able to get for its price, given that it's only about, what is it, roughly $50 more than the regular edition, giving the regular edition is now $70, I'd definitely say it's worth it. The art book alone and steel book, I mean, I'm a sucker for that. I'd absolutely pay the 50 bucks uh, extra just for that. Um, I know it's not for everyone. I want you guys to get, a, you know, a hands, well, not a hands-on, but more of an unboxing and my description of the hands-on so you can make that decision before you go out there and get them because, honestly, I feel like there are quite a few of these still around in stores. Um, GameStops here and uh, where I live had dozens of them. That blew my mind. So hopefully that is a quick unboxing. I'll definitely have my uh, opinions and not per se a review, but I'll have an overview of what I think of the game as soon as I start hitting that up tonight. All right, everyone, enjoy and uh, happy gaming. <laughs>